Hello there everybody, the name's Prototype, and welcome back to The Walking Dead Episode 2! So, we, when we last left off, we had just arrived at this farm, we are just moving around, um, yeah, I won't bore you with too much about what's happened, you've probably seen it. So what have you found out? Is this looking like a good place to stay? I'll keep looking around. Alright, oh. keep me posted. Okay, let's, oh, let's have a look at you. You can definitely tell they built this thing themselves. <laughs> Excuse me. Right. Uh, oh, there was a thing. There was a thing. There it is. What's that? Generator. <laughs> you guys come along with gas just in time. Hey, uh, don't mess with that, okay? The thing's a little tricky, and I don't want to spend half a day trying to fix it again. Let's have a word with Andy. Hi. Hi. Well, I'm glad you guys decided to help us out. I noticed back at the motel that you folks are pretty well armed. You've been stockpiling, huh? We've scraped together a good supply in the last few months. How about yourselves? What kind of protection do you have around here? We collected a few guns to protect ourselves, but we really only use them when we go off the property. When we're inside the perimeter, the fence is all we need to keep us safe. True. Um... We can't be the first people you've invited up to the dairy. Well, no, we've made similar deals with other folks, uh, trading for gas and food, but ultimately they moved on, looking for the people they lost contact with. Fair enough. An electric fence is enough to keep out walkers? Walkers? <laughs> is that what you call them? <laughs> That's good. Uh, the old one wouldn't have, but Mac, he was our foreman, he figured out how to amp it up with the generators. We used to sit out here some nights and watch the sons of bitches sizzle and pop when they got too close. Ooh. Closest thing to entertainment these days, I guess. <laughs> these generators guess. are enough to power the whole dairy? We got lots. And we gotta keep trading for fuel as much as we can, but they all work together to do the trick. And like us. Ooh, that's a good idea. Let's go fix Mark and I can help you with that perimeter now. Oh, good. The fence will stop a walker in about three or four seconds, but it's overloaded if we leave the husks out there. You know, Mark and I can clear the fence ourselves if you want to stay here and finish up with the generators. True, that's a good well, idea. That'd be great. I'll turn off the northwest section, and uh, if you guys could strip them off and look for any weak points, well, that'd be a big help. Sounds easy enough. Stay attentive. You never know. We don't have any defenses, do we? Don't have an axe. That could be problematic. They've got a massive farm, haven't so they? How's the place looking? Is it safe enough for us to stay? If we can? It's pretty amazing what they've done with this dairy, but let's see what it takes to secure this fence before drawing any conclusions. I can't wait until everyone's out here. Everyone besides Larry. <laughs> he wouldn't be such a pain in the ass if you weren't telling him we were talking behind his back all the time. I, I'm, I'm sorry, all right? I try to be civil at least. He's too busy being cranky to notice. Mm, hello. There's one. It's got an arrow in it. Ugh. Lee, it's dead. Come on, let's push it off. Okay. Let's have a look at it first. Who do you think he was? Maybe a farmhand. I don't know. I hope he wasn't like this long before the fence finished him off. Yeah. Done. All right, let's get him off. Oh, we have got the. Uh, axe. Looks like he's stuck. Can we get? Yeah, Maybe let's have a look at that. John boys are using this guy for target practice. Uh, poor guy. I don't know what got him first, the arrow or the fence. Either way, hope he was already dead. Yeah, let's take the thing out. Disgusting. Right. Now we can push you off. There we go. Come on. I'm sure there's still a few more. Once this fence is patched up, this place will be a fortress. God, can you imagine not having to worry about the walkers anymore? 
Uh. Yeah, well, it's useless without gas. We might need food, but the St. John's need gas, too. Not many drivers these days, Lee. We could scrounge up a year's worth of gas, easy. So what's your take on the brothers? They seem to have this place tied down pretty well. I'm quite suspicious of them, actually. What do you mean by that? I don't know. They seem decent enough. I just want you to know that I've got your back if anything goes down. That's all. Thanks. There's another one. I see it. I wonder if this one's alive. Oh dear. Man, the fence burned right into its hands. I think they fused together. Ooh. Man, no. the fence burned right into Hello, its hands. Push the wrong button. I think they fused together. Okay. That's that's one. That's two. You never get used to the smell, do you? <laughs> nope. Christ, this is really Can't sharp. Can't stop thinking about dinner. Would have been nice to get some of those rations. I get hungry too, you know. We'll go ask for more to eat after this is done. All right. I can suck it up. Come on. I think I see where they're getting in. This one must have knocked it over trying to get through. He's tangled up in there pretty good. Come on, help me get this thing back in place so we can get Mr. Crispy off of here. I think we'd get better leverage from the other side. Good idea. <clears throat> Little help here, Lee? Yep. There we go. Lee, yep. Oh. Sorry about the tapping, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. Holy fuck! What just happened? The fences are on. Why the hell would he turn the fence on? He knows we're out here. Ooh! What the? Get to the gate! Oh my god. Jesus. Who the fuck is that? No idea. Fuck. Now what? With the fence on, that gate is our only way out! We had an agreement. Now you're fucked. Oop. Did you really think you were fucking us? We don't know you! Shit! You fucked with us! Now we'll take what we want! We got all the Oop. No, get back. Can I talk to you? No. Come on. You can get it going. Okay, I can. Oh. Ugh. I know I've got to get this off at some point. That one. Ooh. There we go. No, what? Shit, something's still blocking it. Over there! Something's still blocking it. Where's our food, you asshole? Uh. Hardy, get ah, there ready. is. Get closer! Come on. If we can reach the gate, we can get through this fence and back to the house. Ah! Shit, that hurts. Okay. There we go. No, we don't. I don't know you. What happened? Shit. It's one of the dead we pushed down earlier. Gonna have to pull Okay, I know where I need to push him now. Uh, there. Well, moving away. We don't want anything to do with you. Oh, 
really? Another one? How many of those things did we push down? Okay, I know where I need to push. There we go. Out the way, you. Oh god! No, 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 no. No, 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 come on. No. Come on. No. No, 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 no. Sorry for the tapping, guys. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Yeah. Fair. Come on. The gate's right there. Come on. Get out the way. Get out the way. Yeah, nice one. Thank you. Let's get out of here. Whoa. Lee, what's wrong? Uh, the electric fence came on. Some people started attacking from the woods, and we got trapped between them and the fence. Holy shit, are, are you okay? I heard Mark yelling. Thought y'all were giving me the all clear. Man, I am real sorry. Oh, my lord! What happened to you, sweetheart? It was those bastards in the woods, mama. Yeah, I'll be alright once it's out, but god damn it hurts. Yeah. Hey, y'all! Mark, oh my god, what happened? He got shot with an arrow. Christ, are you gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I should just pull it out. Oh no, honey, come on, Brenda's got you. Come on inside now, we'll have you all sorted out. Well, you must be the best. What kind of shit is this? We ran into some people on the way up here. Bandits, I guess. I think it was them that attacked us. They gave us a lot of problems in the beginning. Killed a bunch of our farmhand. We were able to get them to stop by making a deal. You knew about these people? Food for protection. Not like we had much of a choice, but they did stop hassling us. Yeah. God damn it. Carly said this place was locked down tight. Maybe it isn't as safe here as we thought. Look, we're sorry. We, we never had them screw with us like this. Not since we started It may not be safe enough. Food. I don't trust these people Listen, we at may all. have had an agreement with those people, but we will not stand for this shit. Ain't no way we're gonna let those sons of bitches get away with this. You know where these assholes are? They're hard to pin down, but I think I know where at least one of their camps are. Mm, when you're ready good. to go scope out that bandit camp, come find us. I'm gonna have to Bandits, talk to my people. Are you serious? This place isn't safe. We can't stay here. Not safe? This place is a hell of a lot safer than that motor inn. I think all of us and our guns can handle a couple of punks with bows and arrows. What we need to do is find a way to get our whole group out here to stay. Take this place over if we have to. Oh, cool your jets there, Rambo. These are nice people. Let's not do anything to get us thrown out before we eat. I'm gonna head out and help Dan deal with these bandits. You guys should try to make friends with Andy and Brenda while I'm gone. Well, that's easy. I got charm coming out of my ass. Yeah, that's real charming, Dad. <laughs> Where's Ben and Carly? Since Carly and Ben ate some of the food on the way to get us, she volunteered to stay behind and watch the motor in until we get back. But she didn't eat. Oh, she hey, did. Uh, have I the, remember um... seeing kids in your group, so I went ahead and fixed that swing while you were out. Hope your kids like swings. A swing? I love swings. Just like at my treehouse. Come on, Doc. Why don't you kids go and play on the swing, huh? Yeah. Thanks. There we go. Anytime. We're looking out for you. Uh. Hmm. I want to have a look, a talk with these guys. Do not get hit with the swing. There we go. Talk hey, to Clint. Do you like the swing? Yeah, it's fun. Be sure to tell Andy thank you, okay? I will. Will you push me on it? Sure. Happy to push you on the swing. Mind if Clementine takes a turn? All right, Duck. Let Clementine have a try for a bit. Okay. There you go, Duck. Thanks, Duck. Right. Push as hard as we can. What do you think of the dairy? It's pretty. It reminds me of how things used to look before. Yeah, it does. Do you think things will ever get back to how they were? I don't know. Not sure, Clem. I hope so. I hope so, too. 
How are you holding up, Clementine? I'm okay, I guess. Are you okay? Yeah. I'm just a little worried about Mark. Is Mark going to be okay? You're yeah, he should be. There. It'll been a lot worse. Are you going to find the people who hurt Mark? Well, we have to make sure they don't hurt anyone else. Be careful. I want you to stay lucky, too. Aw. Ever since I met you, I've had good luck, so don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. We're safe here now. As long as the bad people don't get me, too, right? No, they won't get you. What happened to Mark happened to you. Promise? I promise. All right, Clem. That's enough for now. Okay. Thanks for pushing me. Of course. It's all yours. Yeah! Okay, Doug. Don't pop a gasket. <laughs> uh, actually, can I talk to you? That's Clem. No, I can only talk to Clem. Okay, I'll leave you to it. Alright. Uh, look at gas cans. Let's have a look. There's something to interact with. Might as well. Storing gasoline all over the property. Which is a good idea. Let's have a look. Let's have a look in the barn. If there's not enough room in the house for all of us, I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Go in. If there's not enough room in the house for Go in, why aren't you going I in? I guess a few of us could camp out here in ships. Lots of hay. Ugh, enough of these might work as adequate cover from arrows, if that becomes a problem. Uh, I really want to have a look in that barn. Why can't you let me look in the barn, game? I'm gonna scope out where I've got to sleep. Looks like a feeding station for the cow. Hey, hello. Can I talk to you? Can I talk to you? No. I could talk to you, though. Lee, oh my god, I'm so glad you two didn't get killed out there. Do you think Mark will be okay? Yeah, I wish I knew, but I think he's in good hands now. Yeah? It's not too bad? I'll be fine. I've seen guys go through worse. How could you all bring us to this place? Uh... I take it you and Kenny didn't exactly make up on the way here. I tried seeing things from his point of view, having a wife and kid and everything. But gambling with your family's life is pretty stupid if you ask me. This is true. Hey, thanks for backing me up this morning at the motel. I know I came down on you guys pretty hard, but you do agree with the way I'm running things, right? You're a good leader, Lily. Kenny's too emotional, but his intentions are in the right place. Still, it'd be best for all of us if you two could try to work together once in a while. Hey. Uh. How do you feel about leaving the motor? That's a good question. It's a welcome change of scenery. I don't know. If we'd just stayed where we were, then Mark wouldn't have ended up with an arrow in his shoulder. Hey, uh, can I talk to you in private for a second? Okay. Let's have a look. It's been three months. Your dad still treats me like I'm some kind of asshole. Yeah, well, don't expect that to change. That's just how he is. Does he treat you like that, too? Look, my dad can be an ass sometimes, I know that. But he's not a bad guy. He just... he's got a lot of pain. A lot of he's pain? He's been through so much, and lost pretty much everything. Mm. And it's hardened him, you know? Yeah, he's bitter and hateful, but that's Damn. all just to protect himself. And me. All he's got left in the world is me. And wow. That goes both ways. So yeah, he's probably going to keep treating you like crap, but that's just because he still has one thing left to care about. So don't judge him. And don't judge me for sticking by him. He's my dad. And I love him. True. I'll, um, I'll respect that. Can I at least talk to Larry? Think our little arrangement with them was a good idea? A little late to be asking that now, don't you think? Dad's right. Let's just 
wait for dinner. And then if Mark is feeling up to it, we leave. I don't want to push our luck here. Now, now, let's not be hasty. I'm gonna go check things out. Just don't get too nosy. These kinds of people are usually pretty protective of their privacy. Yeah, yeah. true. And we don't need you poking your nose where it don't belong and getting us thrown out in our asses. Yeah, hey, I'm pretty, I'm pretty cool with my, uh, my, um, talking, thank you. Anyway, I'm going to leave it here now, guys. Thank you all so much for watching this. I don't think we've actually done a lot in this. Doesn't feel like we've done a lot, does it? But anyway, I will be leaving it here. So I will be seeing you all in the next episode, guys. Thank you all so much for watching, and take care.